Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm sure you can already tell by today's title and what's in the background behind me. I'm doing a large grocery haul for my family of five. As some of you guys may know, we were out of town last week for five days and before we left, we made sure to run almost all of our groceries out. That way nothing went bad while we were gone. So when we got home, we had literally nothing in the fridge. So I stopped at neighborhood Walmart really quick just to grab a couple of things that I would need for that day because my husband went right back to work when we got home. So I just needed a couple things to get by. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert that clip right now so I can share with you guys what I got yesterday. Hey everyone, we're back home from our trip and I stopped to pick up just a couple of groceries just to get us through till tomorrow because I'm gonna do my big grocery shopping tomorrow. I just wanna share with you real quick what I got. I went to a Walmart our neighborhood Walmart. I really like the neighborhood Walmart over the really big Walmarts. I just feel like the neighborhood Walmart is much easier to shop at. So I grabbed us a loaf of bread and some hamburger buns because I'm going to do some homemade hamburgers for dinner tonight. And then I got a 2% milk and almond milk because we ran through all of our dairy and fruits and vegetables and all the things before we left for our trip because we didn't want anything going bad in the fridge. So I needed those two things right away just so that the kids had milk today. And then I grabbed them some honey crisp apples. Honey crisp is our favorite kind of apples. I don't know what it is about them. We just really like them over all the other apples. So I always grab a bag of those and some bananas. That's like our staple fruits because those are the only two fruits that my picky eater will eat. So if I'm doing something small like I did today, I will just grab apples and bananas because all three kids will eat that. And then I also grabbed one of these um, deli turkeys. I feel like they are a really good price at our neighborhood Walmart. So I always like to grab our lunch meat from there. And that is my small little neighborhood Walmart haul. And then today is the day that I went ahead and did my large grocery hauls. Over here, I have a bunch of stuff from up north. We were in Connecticut visiting my husband's family and his mom took us shopping at BJ's Wholesale. I've never been there before. She wanted to take us and she stocked us up on all kinds of things for the kids, for their school lunches and snacks. So I was really excited about that and I was so grateful to her. The rest of the stuff came from our neighborhood Walmart. Neighborhood Walmart is one of my favorite places to shop. I feel like the prices are really competitive to the prices of the Aldi that are right across the street. So I think that their prices there are much cheaper than the larger Walmart in our area. So I always go to our neighborhood Walmart and that's where I always stock up on our groceries. That is where everything that is right behind me came from. And then I have a few things that we got at Publix today as well. If you're here to stick around, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video of mine. And let's go ahead and jump into it. starting over here with what we got from BJ's as you can see most of it has already been opened my son did go ahead and take a nice big box of snacks to his school today his classroom does a snack time and for any kids that can't bring a snack they have like a snack bin that all the unopened snacks that the kids don't want or bring with them can go into and then kids who can't bring a snack they can choose out of what they would like so we filled up a whole box of snacks using most of what we had here and then just some snacks in the pantry that the kids don't eat very often I let him take that to school with him this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip here because he was so excited taking this to school this morning and carrying it out the door. It was very cute. So this was all from BJ's Wholesale. I'm gonna just start with over here. We have some veggie straws, Pringles, and then cereal. The cereal we have never seen before. We usually shop at Sam's Club and Costco and we've never seen this trio. So we got that and the kids have already eaten a little bit out of each of them. And then we also got this cereal trio, which we really enjoy. We get this one at Sam's Club every time. Hiding back here, we have some Scooby Snacks. And this one had chocolate graham crackers as, as well as the cinnamon ones. So I was really excited about that. My daughter loves all things chocolate. Speaking of chocolate, we got some Hershey's chocolate syrup. And we already have one of those in the fridge. And we also got this organic mango passion fruit drink, which we also have one of those already in the fridge. The boys are really enjoying that. We grabbed some Mott's applesauce, some Nilla wafers, and then Rice Krispies back here. And that was everything that we got at BJ's. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out because I just realized that I have a bunch of frozen foods. Well, just a couple of frozen foods from um, neighborhood Walmart as well that I wanna show you guys. So I'm gonna clear this out and stack that up here and then we will get into our Walmart haul. I 
All right, so here is everything that we got on day two of running to the neighborhood Walmart for groceries. So I'm gonna just start right over here with our fresh produce. We have some bananas, potatoes, a pineapple, and then some onions and bell peppers, some zucchini and tomatoes here. And then we have some sun gold kiwi. I have two different types of lettuce. This one is our favorite for salads. And then iceberg, we just use for everything. We have some canned products back here, which I think Great Value just started releasing this. But all them the last few times I was grocery shopping. But I don't think I ever noticed them before. However, it is $2 cheaper to get the Great Value brand now than the Pillsbury brand. So I'm going to keep sticking with that. No, the quality isn't as good. We still are eating them and nobody has complained besides my husband. No big deal. So... That is what I've been doing. I've been doing the Great Value croissants, biscuits, and cinnamon rolls just for easy meals or snacks. And then we have all kinds of different tortillas because like I said, we ran out all of our food the last few weeks. So we needed to stock up on tortillas. We have some yellow corn tortillas, flour tortillas, some street taco flour tortillas, and some large burrito flour tortillas. I grabbed a thing of syrup and then two different types of Ritz crackers. These are just the original ones. And we also like these crisp and thin ones, especially for hummus. I think I didn't show you, but we have Parmesan cheese back here. And I have two different box pasta sides, which we like to do with dinner once in a while if we're in a pinch. For bread, I got this sweet Hawaiian roll bread. This is the Sam's Choice brand one. And then this is the King's Hawaiian um, pretzel sliders. I'm really excited to use those. I have another gallon of milk back here, a gallon of apple juice, some mini sweet peppers, two different kinds of carrots, or some hummus, which yes, I already started eating. Leave me alone. <laughs> and then some strawberries. I think I already said peppers. And then two of these uh, tomato, basil, garlic pasta sauces. I like to add extra veggies in there just to get some veggies in my picky eater. And if you guys are interested in a pasta sauce made from veggies, made from scratch, all on your own, check out my Instagram and TikTok. I'll have them linked below. I have some great veggie pasta sauce recipes for you. If you have a picky eater like me, pasta sauce or pizza sauce is the way to go with getting vegetables in them. Now, I also got some fresco, some queso fresco cheese. We really like that with um, quesadillas or just tacos, anything like that. And then some single craft American, oh, not craft, some singles, um, great value American cheese. And then a kielbasa, some Velveeta, hard salami, and then two different types of cheese blocks. I have mozzarella and mild cheddar and also some rice. I like the long grain rice. For our frozen foods, we have some fish fillets, some onion rings. We are really loving these onion rings lately. The Nathan's brand is just by far killer. We really enjoy those. And then a big thing of tater tots because my kiddos love tater tots. And I like this big bag because it's super cheap and I can use it for like 10 meals, if not more. And then we also, I also picked up this great value pepperoni pizza. We have never tried that brand, but you guys, this was only $3.48, I believe. So I figured for $4, I couldn't beat that. That's going to help me on a night that I really am in a pinch and need something easy for the kids. So that was our neighborhood Walmart grocery haul. And you are looking at everything I got there. Just give me one second. I'm going to clean this all up and I will quickly show you guys what I got from Publix. Here is our really small Publix haul. So we got some dark chocolate hummus, which I cannot find chocolate hummus anywhere else right now besides Publix. And this is a staple of my daughter's. So we like to keep chocolate hummus on hand. And then we grabbed some honey, some Stonyfield vanilla low fat yogurt, which I do like the Greek yogurt from them as well, but my kids are really not a big fan of it anymore. So we do do the vanilla yogurt. They do like that one still. And then we also grabbed some eggs because I forgot eggs at Walmart. I do like to get my eggs in the Walmart 60 count at the neighborhood Walmart. It's like $10. This thing was like $6 at Publix. So definitely not my favorite choice, but we did need to grab eggs. That was it from Publix. If you made it this far, then thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and like this video. And then go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know which wholesale store is your favorite between Costco, Sam's Club, and BJ's. I would love to know because I need to start renewing my memberships and I did look up a BJ's near me and the closest one is like 40 minutes, which I wouldn't mind driving to. So I really am interested to know which one is your favorite and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh.